The Kitchen Clone Mysteries, featuring Timba, head chef and clone source. A freak storm produced four clones, including Suit, the clone team lead. Habs, our clone lead investigator. Raj, our clone rookie investigator. And Alice, our clone senior investigator. Previously on the Kitchen Clone Mysteries. Is it rolling? Is it rolling? Previously on the Kitchen Clone Mysteries. Legend has it that hidden in ancient texts festers a chocolate chip cookie recipe so evil that it has been reported to have been written by the devil herself. To keep them occupied, I told him to go seek out this haunted chocolate chip cookie recipe. One day, a haunted recipe candidate mysteriously arrives. Haunted Cookie Recipe, Episode 3, Acquiring the Ingredients. recipe and I was frightened. Can a cookie taste so good that its origins must be evil? Some say evil comes from the devil. That means the devil is a baker and bakes a damn fine cookie. Could a cookie taste that good that people thought the recipe is haunted? <laughs> We hired some locals to acquire the ingredients, but when they took one look at the recipe, they dropped it and ran away, and we haven't seen them since. Now they refuse to answer our phone calls. The clones take a much bigger break. Scary recipe can do things to your mind and body. <laughs> Raj enjoys tending the plants. He believes they speak to him. What? What'd you say? I heard something. <laughs> Next on the Kitchen Clone Mystery. After I began researching this recipe, crazy shit started. Once the crazy shit started, I was out of there. Next on the Kitchen Clone Mysteries. 
I'll speak. But I want this off the record. Next on the Kitchen Clone Mysteries. <laughs> I was not gonna let those cookies kick my ass. <laughs> Will the team acquire the necessary ingredients? Can a haunted cookie recipe truly exist? Are they all just scared people? The Kitchen Clone Mysteries was filmed on location in front of an imaginary audience. <laughs>